find the equivalent point load for the distributed load as shown. I've got a 10 pound per foot distributed uniform load acting over a beam that's six feet long. Now, there are two facts that you need to know about distributed loads. The first says that the magnitude of the equivalent point load, this is what we're looking for, the equivalent point load. What is F? I want to know what the magnitude of F is. The magnitude of the equivalent point load is equal to the area under the load intensity diagram. Well, the load intensity diagram is this shape with the arrows in it. So my shape here is a nice rectangle. This is my load intensity diagram. The load intensity diagram here has a height equal to 10 pounds per feet and a width of 6 feet. So the area is going to be my height times my width of the rectangle for my uniform distributed load. Area of a rectangle will be 10 times 6. Sixty pounds. This is the magnitude of my equivalent point foot load. So this is part of what I'm looking for. But you also need for a force to have direction, and it needs you need to know where it's going to act. The centroid of a rectangle, the equivalent point load, this is F, acts at the centroid of the area. So here's my beam. It's not the centroid of the beam I'm looking for. It's the centroid of this load intensity diagram. That's where F acts. So my load intensity diagram is this rectangle that's 10 pounds per foot over 6 feet. This is the load intensity diagram. The centroid of the rectangle is in the middle. F is going to act at the middle. So in this case, my F, which is 60 pounds, acts right in the middle of my beam, three feet from either end. Now, this is a very easy example. All you have to do is multiply 10 and 6 and put it in the middle. But the two points are very important because even when you have a non-uniform load, these two things are still true. The magnitude of the equivalent point load is equal to the area under the load intensity diagram. So find your load intensity diagram, find the area, and then find the magnitude equal to the area. Where does it act? It acts at the centroid of the area under the load intensity diagram.